What's going on everybody and welcome to our first episode of Starfield here on the channel. This is a brand new playthrough, the brand new game from Bethesda. I've been looking forward to this game for a while. I'm a massive fan of all things Bethesda. Uh, I, I've been very highly anticipating pretty much Fallout in space from what I understand. Um, and I've done my best to try and avoid as many spoilers or watching too many streams. Um, because right now as I'm recording this, this is Friday the morning after Early Access went live. Uh, I'm up recording this before work, so very excited to dive in uh, and get things started. A few things I just want to point out before we get uh, too far into this video is, number one, I've decided to, to not have my camera on for this playthrough. If you've watched any of my other series, I typically have the camera on for single player adventures, but for this, I feel like it's such a spectacle. You know, you're, you're diving into space and you're exploring the galaxy. Uh, I want to take in a full thing without an obstruction of my camera. Second thing is it's going to be limited commentary. I'm not going to talk about things outside of the gameplay. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll do our best to limit from, you know, doing too many reviews or pointing too many things out. There'll be the odd one here and there, especially early while we're experiencing the game. Uh, at, at the start, but after that, you know, it's just going to be discussions about missions and talking things like that. And lastly, uh, this is a full ultra graphics. I thankfully own a PC that is capable of running this thing at over 100 FPS on max graphics. The only thing I did turn off was motion blur. Like a lot of other content creators out there, I do get very sick from motion blur. I think it's an unnecessary component. So I've turned that off. But other than that, we're going to dive into this thing. I'm super excited to get uh, Starfield started. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part Part one of our Starfield adventure starting a brand new game. Like I said, I, I'm a big fan of Bethesda games. I do not have crazy expectations. I know that's a big common misconception is they expected something. A lot of people were overhyped, I think. But for me, I know what I was expecting for this game and I'm very excited. Starfield, let's go. May 7th, 2330, so we're way into the future. It's putting us right into the game. I fully thought there might be a uh, character creation at the start, but no, it's putting us right in the game. Seals are good, oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella. What's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just... No more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <laughs> <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. All right, well, I mean, diving us right into the game. We're apparently deep in a cave system here, and I gotta say, the graphics look really good. The facial animations okay. is, is also really what intriguing. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in freestyle collective space? Wow, you this looks great. great. A job like this in the United Colony? Huh. It's a red tape. Ugh. Look at this one over here. Albert! No! Ah, no, no, no! 
It's a laser, not a sledgehammer. <laughs> Ease up. Benning, if you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guy's using it like a sledgehammer. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up. Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I gotta say the the first of all the the sound is incredible. Like the the atmosphere is really good. The the music's obviously incredible in this game. You can tell by the trailers. But the uh, faces that they've put in the game, like the facial animations, are actually really solid. I'm pretty impressed. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Like they definitely they still look like. That cabin. I'll shout out when I need you. The typical um, Bethesda emotionless like uh, <laughs> faces, but. They look pretty good, like the tracking is actually really solid. So I guess we're mining some of these materials here. All right, so it seems like they get added to your inventory automatically, which is nice. Don't actually have to pick them up unless they're just falling into my inventory. That could be the case too. This is cool. I like this, throwing you right into the, the nitty gritty beryllium deposit. Coming. Yeah, yeah this environment looks great. Before I feel like talking to you. Come on. It's time. You're with me. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and for those of you wondering, I'm playing on 1440p, a 3080 Ti, and I'm getting 114 frames at this moment. So obviously I expect that to change in the open world or in big settlements, but it's running beautifully. I actually have to admit that uh, I'm, I'm pretty surprised with how great this is running and visually looks. Very, very small sample size, obviously, but the atmosphere here is great. Guess we're just waiting for them to clear a path here. Let's go. After you? Maybe it's after me. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after, it'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. The sound is so job. good. Come on. Guess I gotta wait for her. Where the heck are we? We're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Oh, sure, oh, send the new guy. Would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Open. Yeah, so... So you enable your flashlight. We got here. Really, um, don't know if we'll need this, but might as well grab it. It's on the way. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Keep going. Ooh, it's really dark down here. Holy jump! It's flashlights barely providing any <laughs> any uh, advantage. I like the drill. I'm sure there's gonna be a ton I miss. Like I said, I don't even know. I don't even know if this stuff is worth getting beryllium, but might as well mind what we can see. Well, I see a big cave. What's this stuff? Kalemite? This stuff is chonky. Jeez. Probably don't need to mine all this. I'll probably just mine this one. What do we got here? Break up the deposits. Okay. What the heck? 
heck is this thing? Take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> now we're in a character select. Okay, so, uh, no idea what the heck was that thing we just picked up, but I'm guessing these are... Yeah, it looks like you can customize more stuff. So I'm not going to be too picky here, guys. I, I know there's going to be a billion things you can customize. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to take up too time, too much time in the first video uh, customizing. And I mean, you're going to be wearing a, a crazy space suit for 90% of the game anyway. So I'm OK uh, with just getting a pretty basic looking guy here. It's actually quite a few customization options. It's kind of cool. Try and make him look a little bit like me, I guess. With my paleness. Sure, that looks good. What kind of hair do we got? You want like a marine looking cut where it's shaved on the side? Maybe. That's not bad either. Ah, uh, there we go. Just a basic haircut. Why not? I am a basic gentleman. Dark brown hair. That looks good. Got to get a beard. Some, some sort of beard in there. <laughs> actually, you know what? For a Bethesda game, these are some actually half-decent looking uh, facial hairs. They're not, not the most known for having the most... Wow, that's beautiful. The most uh, great looking facial hair. But, I mean, it's... it's yeah, it's pretty normal, I think. Pretty pretty good. Get that dark brown in there again. Uh, eyes. Oh, this is the shape. Ah, just the default. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. It looks like you can shape different blends. Wow, there's a lot of customization that I was not expecting. But like I said, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a mask on for or a space helmet on for 90% of a lot of these things. So. I'm sure you guys in the community are going to get very creative and very wild with some of your things. So we'll leave that to you guys. Jewelry. What is this? Just piercings? Yeah. Derm aesthetic. Oh, uh, like complexion, I guess. Yep. You can get some pretty, uh, pretty ridiculous things. That's fine. Uh, scars. We get some cool scars. Jeez, those are big scars. What the heck? Oh, intensity. I see. Do we want to get like a little bit of a eye scar? Maybe got into a fight with something. I don't know if this is my first travel. It seemed like they know who I was. Holy jumping. Some of these are. What do we got? Maybe just that one, but tone down the intensity a little bit. Sure, that's cool. Facial forms, tattoos, cheeks, lipstick, eyeliner, dirt. Holy crap. They actually went pretty ham with this. All right. Background. Beast Hunter. I'm not going to read all these guys. If, if you want, you can pause the video as I scroll past them. I'm mostly just looking at the starting skills. Uh, there's a lot to go through in the customization. And like I said, I don't want to take the first whole video uh, coming up with some customization things. So we'll quickly fly through these. Beast Hunter, Fitness, Ballistics, uh, a few things that kind of reliable power and high speed projectiles, Gastronomy, Bouncer, Boxing, Security. So kind of a melee guy. Um, Piloting target control assistant boost pack. So that seems a little bit more like space stuff, which definitely will be a big part of this game. Not something I'm necessarily wanting my guy to be focused on. Chef. Uh, Brand new worlds means new ingredients. There's almost no limit on delicious foods. Dueling and scavenging. Combat medic. Uh, pistol certification medicine. Wellness. Uh, cyber runner. 
cyberneticist that sounds cool medicine security and lasers so the guy i'm kind of trying to you know p potentially make i i've i've really limited myself to spoilers or, or really looking too for for far into this game because i wanted to experience what i knew the game would be uh without overhyping it so for me the type of character that i want to build in this first playthrough is mostly like a, a bounty hunter slash hacker man if that makes sense like Maybe some pirating where that the the cybernetics can kind of come in in hand where you can hack things. I don't want to be a stealth guy. That's that's not my forte. Uh, it's not something I, I like playing in a lot of games. I want to be you know a combat guy that goes in bounty hunts for money, steals things potentially from bad guys, and also just hack a bunch of stuff. So so right now, out of the ones so far, cyberneticist sounds the coolest. Uh, diplomat. Yeah, I think conversations are going to be important, but for me, it's mostly about just taking on jobs for money. I think that's my biggest thing right now. Lasers, astrodynamic surveying, gangster, uh, shotguns, and boxing. That's kind of cool. Homesteader. Mm. The space ones, I'm not that interested in because I don't know how much, like, I, I don't know how much of the game is actually going to be in, like, dogfights or things like that. I'm sure there's a good amount, but dueling, stealth, scavenging, medicine, geology, persuasion file not found no information about your past life that's interesting so ballistics piloting and wellness kind of one from every category i do like the sound of the cyberneticist you know you get advanced training in medical you get some sort of hacking and lasers which obviously lasers can be laser guns i'm guessing or maybe your ship so i think i'm gonna pick the cyberneticist for my first playthrough here guys uh okay let's continue traits oh geez louise alien dna Dream home, you get you're given a house to start, but you have to pay 125,000 credit mortgage each week. No, thank you. Empath, nah, I'm not a people person in this playthrough. Um, kids stuff, you have to send credits home every week. We got what's wanted. Somebody put a price on your head, and word is spread. Occasionally, our mercenaries show up to try and kill you. That sounds cool. You do more damage, the lower your health is. See, bounty hunting, if you're bounty hunting, there's going to be people after you as well, and especially if we get into piracy a little bit. Space cowboy piracy. Sure, that sounds great. <laughs> uh, what do we got? United Colonies, Terra Firma. You have never uh, acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when on the surface, but decreased when you're in space. And then what's space? The opposite. Um, like I said, I think I'm going to do most of my stuff on planet. Oh, that's interesting. You can't even take space. It just so a lot of these do seem like the like the reverse. So if you pick one, the the, the next one is like kind of like the opposite. So that's kind of interesting that you can't. So I think wanted in terra firma sound good. Uh, occasionally, if you have crew trained in a certain ship system, that system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it's damaged below fifty percent. However, all crew cost twice as much to hire. Okay. These all look like a specific specific faction, which I don't really know too much about because I didn't really look into it. So I think I might just choose Taskmaster and have some advanced crew people. So I think that looks good enough. Very generic looking guy. Task Taskmaster, Terra Firma, Wanted. And then we pick the, uh, the Cyberneticist. That sounds good to me. We'll finish that up. Complete profile name. We'll just go with our Mr. Webb. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Uh, character pronouns confirm. We're good. He, him. Yep. Qualifications Perfect. like this, we all figured you must be on the run from some mega corp. You're lucky we don't ask too many questions. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. Do you remember anything that happened? There was a, this light and music. It was incredible, like a dream of vision. Everything's blank after I went in the tunnel. What is that thing? I mean, this is true. I saw <laughs> flashing lights and music. Huh. I don't know much more about well, it than that. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else, probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. Cool. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Yeah, the facial Never animations are way better. It looks like. It's worth more than this mine has Still pulled very Bethesda. month. Will be speak of the devil. Press mouse to switch between first and third person. Oh, there we go. Yep, very generic looking. That's <laughs> that's perfectly fine. I think for most of this playthrough, maybe except for space, uh, I'm gonna be 
working out first person. Although I gotta say, it's very seamless transition. They did a great job with that. What we got here? Credit stick. Kind of a joke. Fire school. Probably don't need to explore much. I'm guessing there's like a tutorial area. It's gonna teach you how to play. So I'm not gonna steal from my own crew necessarily. Uh, so let's continue, guys. Uh, but yeah, so this is very much this first part is going to be the introduction. Uh, I'm going to assume this is going to teach you a bunch of things about combat, maybe even space flight. I don't really know. Uh, so bear with me, guys. The first part is always into a new series like this, into the scale of things like this. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more exploration, learning the, uh, the ooh, a sandwich. Hey, that was my sandwich. I'm sorry, dude. Oh my. Wow. I didn't expect him to have instant feedback like that. It's interesting. All right, let's keep up. Um, yeah, very much looking forward to diving into right, this. Dusty. Oh. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Yes, ma'am. How do we do that? Uh, inventory. Eh. One thing I was concerned about was the inventory, and it's it's a little cluttery, but maybe it gets better. It's like four layers just to get into your equipment is kind of annoying, but I almost wish just immediately. I don't know how it'll change as we advance. I wish the equipment was just on immediately if you hit tab like right here, like there should be like a, a point to the helmet and it's just like a quick select helmet because like traditional Bethesda games follow again. I, I, I said I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to touch about a few small points just so you guys get an informed decision if you want to play the game or not. Going into multi-layer to equip multiple things in different categories does get very annoying. I do wish, and I, I'm guaranteeing you, if I highlight a piece of equipment on, like, a, a, a drink, like, follow, you're not able to consume it from the... Oh, wow. Okay, that's pretty epic. The music, the airlock opening into a vast planet, that's cool. But yeah, I'm gonna guess it's it's like the old follow games where like if you see like a drink you can't consume it, you can't quick consume it. It's a little annoying, but not gonna let that. Uh, that's Bethesda for you, baby. This is beautiful. Very good on the textures. This looks fantastic. Oh. That's an old ship. That looks dope. Ooh, a gun. But you even see right there, there was no equip. So in order to equip that pistol, I guarantee you I gotta go like into here and go into weapons and equip this. But there's gotta be a, yeah, favorite. Okay, so at least they have that. So I can put that into like slot number one. How do I open that? So, so Q, okay. So I could go like, okay. It's not terrible. It's it's not the most uh, user friendly, <laughs> but that's okay. That's a cool looking ship. Yeah, the textures and visually. The sound is what I can't get over. They did a very good sh job with the atmospheric sounds, and the music is fantastic. Barrett. Man. Been a long time. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bindi, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bindi? Kazal. And no, Barrett, not cool. He passed out after the extraction, woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, The reflections there. look great on his helmet. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. It's got some Barrett. patches. The scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Oh, damn. Hold off the pirates? Oh, God, here we go. Oh, I 
remember an emergency drill. How do you crouch? Oh, there we go. Oh, what am I doing beside this? What the? <laughs> nope. This gun's not terrible for a pistol. Hey, get out of my way, bro. What am I stuck on? Oh, jeez. blew up. Is that all of them? Cutter. Med pack. Cutter. I think we already got a cutter. That's that's the, the um, thing we used on the minerals. What do we got here? Did you pick? Maelstrom. Is that what this thing is? Oh, baby. Am I picking up all their guns or is that giving me ammo each time? How does that work? What do we got rescue axe, synapsis alpha, med pack. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention at the top there, guys. Um, ooh, a pirate spacesuit. Was I'm playing on normal difficulty just to start because it's a brand new IP. I've never, I haven't played a Bethesda game in a very long time. Uh, so we're going to start on normal difficulty, and if I find that it's way too easy, uh, then we'll switch about halfway through, because I'm pretty sure you can. So, uh, just a little tidbit of information there. Oh yeah, we have three maelstroms, so. Uh, damage four. It doesn't seem to do a lot of physical damage, but it does shoot very, very quickly. Guess we can add this to the, the list. That's a cool looking weapon. Weapons look great. Gunplay felt decent. What we got here? Pirate... So physical resist resistance is a little less. You have more energy, more thermal. Yeah, why not? Hell, hell with it. We'll put on, we'll put on all new things we find for a bit. Is this the same type of thing? Looks kind of cool. All right, cool. Uh, actually, one last. Is there a health thing on here? Yeah. Okay. Med pack nine. All right, cool. Uh, let's use one of those. So it heals over time. All right, that's cool. That was fun. Of course, Barrett was being well, that was it's some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means Look at the detail on the glass. The when the sun hits at You're a specific angle, you can see scratches, but on other angles, you can't. That's cool. Uh, if you can tell me what the artifact is, I'm all yours. If you'll take me to the, off this damn moon, sign me up. Oh, wait, I didn't ask for any of this. What is Constellation? Yeah, what is Constellation? You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, tell me what the artifact is. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. Oh, How good. About I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place. I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Thanks for everything, Lynn. No way, not my job. I, I guess? Just go. Before I say something, I regret. Well, now that that's settled... Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. Vasco? Oh, he's so very cool. Well. A Vast oh, 119. Hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Oh man, a watch? No, that's that's the that's the pit pit boy, is that what they were called? That's the equivalent hey, of that, I bet. <laughs> Watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Okay. Um, press tab to exit dialogue when you're done questioning. What exactly do we dig up? 
Who are you? What's Constellation? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Okay. You're giving me your ship? Why send me? Shouldn't you go? Give me your ship? is not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. I mean, I know why people are chasing him, I bet. I mean, he just told me this ship isn't ship. even his, so... It's not even his ship. I can kind of understand why people might be after him for, uh, <laughs> for bringing things here. All right. I mean, didn't really get to explore too much of this planet, but this is this is a really cool intro. Uh, a few things I'm noticing about the HUD, it says O2 and CO2. I'm guessing that's like your stamina. I don't know what the CO2 part means. All right, but let's hop aboard, Vasco. This is our first ship. I wonder when, when we can customize it will be cool. Take off from Vectera. I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. Did it actually just say Captain Webb? Boost the shield, just in case there are any difficulties. The reason I am so, like, dumbfounded that it just said Webb is there has been no video game that has said my last name properly forever. And Webb is such an easy last name and pretty common last name. This is it just said Captain Webb. There's that's that's very cool, man. A digi pick, chunks of apple. I'm sure there's lots of things you can grab from here. These are all restore health. That's the only reason I'm grabbing. That's really cool. I wonder if like there's no chance that the character's name is just Webb, right? Like I got to name myself. That's really cool. The drill, Vasco. Oh shit, it's voice no acted. Needs, no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless as Strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. <laughs> All right, Barrett. Good to know. Good to know. So many little things. Lunar robotics. I mean, I could spend hours and hours uh, exploring the ship. I'm sure the research facility is upgrades. You got a whole bunch of little cool things back here. You got baseball caps. Cool. A lot of really cool detail. Very much enjoying this so far. Oh, that is so awesome. First thing you guys got to know about me, if, if you haven't been following the channel, I've talked about it in the past. I'm a big space nerd. Like that that's why like this game just excites me so much as well as like Fallout in space just gets me really excited because I love this. Like this looks fantastic, fantastic. But let's head into the cockpit seat. See where we can go. Oh, baby. All right, what do we got? The rest is up to you. Hold space to take off. Yes, sir. I guess this was one point of contention. Uh, what did I just say? I don't even know. It's too early in the morning. You know what I was trying to say was the fact that this isn't manual. I did hear that, that you can't land or take off from any planet. A little, a little frustrating, granted, the scope of the game, but we move past that. It's not the end of the world. And we are right into space, apparently. Oh, wow. I... Immediately in a space. Where do I now go? That we are in orbit. It might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. Yeah, that'd be good. I can step you through the entire process. Or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Uh, hold left alt and use WASD to switch between systems and allocate power. Oh, so down here. You can skip the ship tutorial by powering up all the systems, including the grav drive. Um, well, I don't want to skip that, so I won't do the grav drive, I guess. Okay, so it's... Oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like uh, that one Star Wars Squadrons game where you, like, take points out of shield, put it in an engine. What is this? Missile? Something ballistics, maybe? And lasers? 
maximum speed, try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. Uh, use WASD to speed up. Oh, right, right in the bottom left, you can see it. As a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed yep, I see indicator it. in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Yeah, so that middle middle thing right there, that's kind of cool. Helps with boost turning. Can be engaged or temporary burst of speed. Uh, press L shift to boost. Whoa, that's cool. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the uh, in the audio is good, but that just Let's had a very big, very big audio Try feedback. Power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, a beefing Bottom right, you can see the shield. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Okay, that's cool. One small step updated. That's neat. Where do we go? <laughs> You've proven an adequate pilot. Are Thanks. you familiar with ship combat tactics? Oh, what the? Fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. Oh, you're getting murked, son. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. Come on. on the HUD. Turn. Lock in oh. to fire the homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry accepted. <laughs> That's fired. actually pretty cool. It's actually, it is a little challenging. Uh, most suited project. Yeah, it's ballistic cannon. Congratulations on surviving your first Starship assault, Captain. Put a little we bit more points in the lasers. Their parts and oh, right there. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Fly close to the shipwrecks and press E to loot them. All right, let's slow down, let's slow down. All right, there we go. Credits to tant Tantalum and Pistron Battery. There's a lot of space words I'm gonna get wrong, so apologies for that. That was cool. He got nothing on me. And fleet ships are what? jumping into our location, Captain. Are oh, you switch targets? Oh, we're right on his heel now, baby. Shoot the ballistics. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Let's go! Where's the other one? At this rate, the odds of continual oh, right assault there. from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete. A perfect staging area for pirates. Okay. So we gotta go travel to Crete to stop a pirate captain. Uh, travel between the stars, zoom out to see the entire star system, zoom out again to see all the stars in the settled systems. Plot a course by selecting the star system you want to travel to. Your ship can only jump so many light years at once, so distant star systems may require you to jump to a closer one first. That makes sense. Okay. Um, so zoom out so we're ne oh so we're we're near Ancelon and it said the the moon so we got to go to Crete uh rotate it scan unavailable but we can travel to Crete set course to Crete yes and travel damn that's this is kind of cool I actually like the space stuff I wasn't sure how it was gonna be like I said I didn't really watch any videos or see anything 
uh, from early reveals, so this is all kind of new. I, I'm really enjoying this. We have arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. Okay, press tab, open. From there, you can open the star map. Uh, great. The planet view of the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources, and it helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the Crete Research Lab icon is in view. So we could scan the planet too. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, there's so much water, helium, iron, lead. So that's, I guess, if you're looking for probably crafting materials later on, that's similar to Mass Effect in a way. You can like scan it and I'm assuming you can land in various areas. We got to go to the re Crete Research, so... Uh, do I just click on it and land? Cool. Very, very cool. So yeah, like I said, this part one is definitely going to be a bit of a tutorial for myself. Uh, it's it's all brand new. Here we go, our first moon rock, I guess. Creeks on the planet. It's, it said it was a moon, so it does look very moony. It's definitely grays. Somebody's taking off there. All right, so uh, I guess we can just exit ship from the cockpit. So we'll just do that. Whoa. Now let's pull our gun out. This gun looks badass. It's this thing. Oh, scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Each unique item scan progresses your survey data of the planet. Completed survey data can be sold for credits. That's cool. So survey 51% fauna, flora, resources. If you scan them all, you can sell that for money. I like that. How do you scan E? So that's a, uh, a dust root. Oh. Oh, you can pull out your, uh, your thing right from the scan feature. Oh, that's very, very interesting. Oh, hey, bud. I didn't know you were coming with me, Vasco. According to the scanners, What's this the thing? A trilobite? Is in this direction. Oh, you can scan each one. They're not mad at me yet. I should probably keep it that way. I don't really want to piss off. So we're going down there. This is cool. This is very cool. I'm sure there's something way out there. 1144 meters away. That seems super far away. The heck is that thing? Uh, one thing I'll just also mention early is I'm going to be doing some things off camera, like off recording, uh, because the game, the scale is so big, you're going to need to go to remote planets and min mine things and do what I'm doing right now. So while we're alien creatures are often are you mad at me? Yep. Yep. What the? Where the hell did he go? Oh! Hey, thanks, Vasco. Um, but yeah, so we'll do we'll do the things that are like along the way for sure. Um, but I'm definitely not going to spend like a, a ton of time going and, and doing things because that that just eats up a lot of recording time, and you guys definitely don't want to watch that, especially if you guys are planning on getting the game yourself. Uh, it's something that you guys can enjoy and do on your own time, and but. Um, it's definitely, that gave a lot of materials. It's definitely something I still want to do. It's just something I'm going to be doing, you know, not lead, not as full videos per se. Because there's going to be so much exploring. I, I can already tell. Um, more lead. I'm going to guess lead's going to be important for crafting stuff. Iron's probably going to be super important. But we'll get the ones on the obvious route for sure. This is cool. I really like the uh, the mining tool very efficient. It also doesn't take too long either, which is nice. Oh, baby. Crete Research Lab. So we got to see some wildlife. Lead. Whoa, the gravity. I wasn't expecting that. Wait, what did I just see in the corner there? Oh, is this like an objective marker? Oh, that's really helpful. Whoa, the grab, the zero gravity. It seems so stupid, I know. Like, I I'm probably getting excited for dumb things, but like, this is so neat. All right, there's a lot of mining stuff. I probably won't get all of this here. What's this? The lead, lead's gotta be important. Uh, scan that, can't. Whoa, look at this base, this is neat. Oh, the music is, it's like very dynamic. 
Also, if I'm not mistaken, all planets are dynamically uh, like populated, so no two planets will be the same from playthrough. I could be completely bullshitting that, or it might be only certain, you know, certain places, but that is very, very cool to me. All right, that's enough scanning for now. Again, close to the base. If that's the case and it is every planet, that is, that's very, very well done and very awesome. If there's anything outside here. Looks like there's a hatch. Yeah, it's telling me to go inside. Should probably quick save it. Apparently, saving in this game is few and far in between, which I'm used to with Baldur's Gate. Uh, if you're wondering why I haven't posted in a hot minute, it's uh, just going to close the hatch for us. I've been playing 350 plus hours of Baldur's Gate since its release, and I decided to enjoy that one with my friends and not record it. Game of the year, game of the century, potentially. All right, we got some bullets there. A new gun. In instigating Eon. Deals double damage when targets are full health. Okay, so we'll replace that one. Oops. What did I just... Oh. Tax box. Uh, place that one with that. So we got a, a better Eon. Med pack. There's going to be so many things we can, like, grab along the way. I'm not going to pick up everything I know people like to hoard in these games. I'm going to do my best to not hoard a bunch and, and become, you know, encumbered too often, but... Bullets are definitely useful. The lighting is fantastic. Very much enjoying empty chunks bag. Don't need that. Very much enjoying the dynamic lighting and the, and the music and the sound, the atmosphere. Everything's very, very not Bethesda, but also Bethesda, if that makes sense. Like, it's still the same foundation that you're used to in a Bethesda game, but it looks beautiful. And I mean, it's showcasing the new engine that I think... What the frick was that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess you can blow up those things. That scared the crap out of me. What the... Can you scan this thing? No. Or maybe if it was alive. Holy crap, that... Oh... Space aliens, man. But anyway, it's the new engine that they're planning on showcasing uh, that they're ultimately going to run Elder Scrolls um, 6 on. Whatever we may eventually see that. <laughs> years and years away, for sure. Um, no, so far this is, this is a very beautiful, beautiful game. Very impressed. We're obviously extremely early into it, so I don't want to... Like I said, I'm trying to avoid talking about the gameplay too much. I mean, I'm going to give my opinion here and there, but the guns look great, too. Come on, bud. Got a pirate captain. It's kind of desolate. Like, are we even sure that there's this robot's right and that they're here? It's a big facility. I guess they could be anywhere. So much to explore. I, I want to look in every crevice. I want to pick up everything, but I know that's not the most enjoyable gameplay when you're spectating. So, gonna attempt to, to refrain from that. What do we got in here? Oh, I hear pirates. Look alive. Look alive, Vasco. Get out of my way, though. They don't know I'm here, I'm guessing, yet. Oh, they're right through there. They're talking about their, their pirating. What do we got? Something's out there. What? Yeah, it's a giant robot making noise, man. I am picking up Oh, their helmets. I'm guessing because that helmet was orange, it actually takes... What the? Where the fuck did you come from? Oh my... Oh no, I clicked on his inventory. Where the heck did he come from? Little ninja. So one thing I noticed in that fight was shooting their helmet turned it... Uh, a Grendel? Oh, is that that SMG? 
Turn, um, hitting them in the head actually made it take them take less damage. So it must mean that their helmets offer more protection than summer. I mean, they got big helmets on. I guess that kind of makes sense. A rescue axe? Do I have a rescue axe? That's cool. So like you can probably get more like better helmets than armor. I like that. Uh, what was that weapon we just got? Uh, a Grendel. That looks nasty. All right, let's put that. Let's actually put that at two and put our, I'm assuming it's an SMG. 7.7 millimeter, yeah. Uh, put that there. A rescue axe, that looks nice. Maybe we'll put that there. Let's have a look at this bad boy weapon. Oh, I have no idea if this thing's good or not, but. All right, found some pirates. Apparently is not the, the leader though. Yeah, the, I mean, the lighting is just so good. Very, very impressed. I'm going to try and stop saying that because it's probably getting annoying, but. More pirates. The Terra Morph is loose? What the hell's a Terra Morph? Oh, that doesn't sound good at all. Oh, we got a computer. Ah, uh, these are just, so one thing, another, I guess I should have mentioned this at the start is I'm not going to read every lore thing. I'll read data discs that are, or listen to data discs that are important, but I'm not going to read every little thing here and there because it, one, it just takes so much time. Two, I'm not interested in, in emails from past employees to employees. I get it's all part of the lore, and if you're really into it, it would probably help set some things up, but wait, what's this? Ooh, a safe. Oh, cracking a safe. Fill in an open slot in every layer to open the lock. Select a key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key to fill in the gaps. Each key can only be used once. Okay. So two rings, all of the slots need to be filled and you can only use these keys once? Is that what it's, how do you rotate it? Oh, like that. So you have to fill in both the top and the bottom. Is it is it wise to fill in the middle? Like, I know you got to go from outside to in, but does it make sense to like, like, can I click on this? Yes. Does it make sense to, okay, that can't go there. This has to be an inside one because there's, that has to be this inside one because that one will go there. That will go there. That'll go there. Okay. That's that. I don't know what. Where's this one? This one has to be. This one has to be inside as well. So that's inside. That's inside. That's all the inside ones taken care of. So if that's all the insides, this first and the third key here. So if that goes there, that goes there. How do you activate them? Slot key E. Okay. What was the other one? Is it this one? Ah, okay, that's cool. I like that. That's a little nice. I'm, I'm assuming that that said it was a uh, a first level lock, I believe. So I'm gonna assume they get harder. What the hell is that? A berserker crack and does more damage the less armor one has. What the? That's cool. I like that little uh, that lock picking system. Cool. All right, we got some stuff in here. Uh, I guess we can. Uh, we already got a pistol equip. I'll look at it. I'm not going to... Everything I get, I'm not going to look at unless it looks really spicy. Um, just because there's going to be so many things that we pick up. The hell's that? Blender base? Yeah, I really like that. That was a cool little... So I'm guessing that's what those little digi sticks are or whatever the heck they called them. We'll have, to pick, we'll have to look for those, because that's, I'm guessing, how you can lockpick. It said I only had three when I was lockpicking that one thing. So we're going to get into a fight here again, aren't we? I heard them talking. This is frag grenade. I'm guessing we can slot that in. I'll do that. Throwables. Frag. Let's put that at the bottom, I guess. I think I read G, G was the toss grenade. You. Wait, 
What was that? <laughs> Level two, baby. That grenade messed them up. He tried getting out of it. Oh, wait. There's people above me. I can hear them. Rescue axe. Yep, there's one. How do I get up there? Brendel. Anybody else? Oh. This gun messes people up. It's a very good body shot. This guy right here. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, we're almost out of ammo for it, though. That pack. Oh. Oh, I like how this one shoots. Oh, wow. This is a really sick SMG. I'm really impressed with their gun design. Where are you going? That is a fun SMG. That is a very, very fun SMG. Oh shit. Hey dude. The enemy is no longer visible. <laughs> I like when there's a uh, friendly little robot. Right, so lots of things. That's another pharmaceutical lab. So you can create things. I probably don't have enough things on my body to really worry about crafting anything at the moment. Damn, these guns are fun. Like, these are early guns, too. Like, I know there's a whole upgrade system, so I can only imagine they get better and better, too. What do you got here? Weapon case. An Equinox, a laser rifle. Okay. Well, we're going to have to equip that. Let's have a look here. Uh, so we already got the Grendel. Where is it? Equinox. Ooh. Throw that in slot four. This is a laser rifle. Let's have a gander at this. Where is it? All right, all right, all right. I can I can get behind this. Fiber. I think the two people downstairs only had battle axes, so I don't really need to worry about that too much. Oh shit, he doesn't see us. Oh, it's a, it's a, oh my. <laughs> it's a single target rifle. Oh my gosh. What the? No way, dude. What the heck? That's so strong. Wow, that's awesome. All right. I mean, oh, sh Yeah, body shots with this gun are definitely crit. Oh, this is, this is really fun so far. I'm really enjoying this. I know we're so early, but... Synapsis Alpha. No idea. Let's pick it up. It's a big medical facility we're in. I like that it tells you the value of these items you're picking up. I'm just curious if... Because there's like a whole stat category. Speaking of stats, we leveled up. Uh, skill point every time you level up. Yeah. Uh, there's like, yeah, there's a whole social one, which I'm not going to invest in too much. Um, physical, what do we got here? Oxing, fitness, this is 10% oxygen, which will probably be important. Stealth, that I'm not even interested in. Increased total carry, ooh, carry capacity I heard was pretty rough. We already have our points into the ones that we have from, uh, picking our class. Oh, there's like a quest to un unlock rank two of it. Kill 20 enemies with laser weapons. Use healing items 20 times pick five locks okay that's cool i think i'm gonna just go straight into weightlifting unlock increase the total carry capacity yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna spend my skill point on like i've heard in many bethesda games that uh <laughs> backpack space is always an issue i can only imagine it is in this so that gives us at least another 10 kilograms and now our quest is sprint a thousand meters while at 75 percent or more to get rank two cool i'm digging that i'm digging that all right let's progress so I'm assuming this is, counts as a laser weapon. So we at least have that to uh, to try and get that one quest done. Is there any more people in here? Probably. I think for this playthrough, we're gonna limit our uh, run times to about two hours per part. I think that's a nice little uh, 
spot for me to record in as well as uh, not too over the top for viewing pleasure, um, especially since it is currently eight in the morning. I, have, <laughs> I woke up early to play this. Uh, so I'm going to play for probably another hour. Uh, that'll be two hours on the dot. I'll be able to go to work. <laughs> uh, and then I might record another one after, uh, after work. But I think two hours is the sweet spot. It seems to be the sweet spot for um, other videos other games so i can only only suspect that it would be the the same for, for this game let me know in the comments though if you guys want longer ones uh, obviously the weekends and after work is is easier to record i just think you know i've been getting up early to work out uh, i'm on a bit of a health grind right now uh, so that is the plan at least for the foreseeable future damn these guys got murked digipick that's what those things are called i think that's what i said Ooh, credit ship. Ooh, we got another computer again. Probably just emails. I'm still gonna check all them just to make sure that they don't have like any like codes or or things like that, like door unlocks. Oh, here we go. Novice. So this is easy. So we got two rings here. Uh, I can already tell that one of these needs to go on the top, and one needs to go at the bottom. But what do we got here? So that goes there. That goes there. So that's the top ring. That goes there. And that goes there. Easy. Oh. I'm going to guess those get harder later on in the game. But for now, that is uh, very enjoyable. And I like the system. It's very unique. But it's also... I'm detecting a safe nearby. We oh. could make use of whatever is inside. Provided oh, outside. my... That actually just made me jump so high. Oh my god. Like, god. <laughs> oh man. They did a good job with that stuff. Oh, we got a dead disc. God. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. Terror morph? <laughs> Is that what that thing is? No, that's a heat leech. What the hell is a Terramorph? All right, we got another lockpick. All right, um, God, that actually scared the crap out of me, dude. That looks good. Yeah, that's the top ring. So four, three, four and three are the top ring. And this is the bottom ring. Oh, no, wait. Damn. I said... Okay, wait a minute. That's top ring, top ring, inner ring. Can't be that, then. It has to be that with that. So, top ring. There we go. I guess you don't even need to really click them in order as long as you have them lined up. Uh, it looks like it went through fine. The Paradiso Complex? Okay. Optional, unlock the safe. Deal with the Crimson Fleet Captain. Yes, sir. Uh, let's just give it a quick save. I like that they just have a quick save option, too. That's very nice. More games need to adopt that. <laughs> I love how this guy's just traveling with me. What in the heck is this thing? Boosted deep mining pack, digipick, adaptive frame, iron, and chlorine. All right. Looks like an airlock door. Are we going outside? We are. Oh boy. Is he gonna talk with me or is he just gonna shoot me? There is an explosive barrel right behind him. You oh. gotta be kidding me. The frontier has a new captain. You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands? With constellation, you need to stop attacking our ship lie that's right i killed barrett to so tell your pirate friends to back off attack them what's your problem with barry i think like as a as a bounty hunter as a potential future pirate lying would be right oh, up my no, sleeve you see we weren't really after barrett or oh. after that ship every crimson fleet rook hears about the frontier that constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays the loot from a hundred planets that statement is partially correct. 
The frontier has been to many <laughs> planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species <laughs> of ant. Shh, you're not supposed I don't to tell them these what things. Kind of lie program that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Um. Nah. Open fire! Tell with you, bro. Oh, his ship's coming in. That would do more damage. Is that his teammates that are coming out? Crewmates? It is. Oh, that's so far. That is so far. Oh my gosh, I forgot that I had thrusters. I don't have any grenades. I don't know how to get down there safely. Like, is there fall damage? Oh, it's leaving. Wait, it's leaving without them? Oh my good gosh. I guess I can jump down there. I'm just gonna loot these guys quickly to make sure that, I, like, I don't know. Can you, can you get back up? I don't think I have a jet booster. Oh, they're over there. All right, we're going down there. I don't even care if I can get back up here. Fast travel to your ship. Press F to open the scanner. Now nah, we got we got guys. Whoa, there's wildlife. Did that hurt me? Contusions gained. Oh, that's not good. You have an affliction. Status. You have an affliction. Take the corresponding remedy to cure it. Go to your inventory and look for the aid category. Okay. What do I have? Prognosis poor. <laughs> Prognosis poor. Contusion. Okay. Um, aid. Yeah. Uh, trees, contusions, bandages. Sure. There we go. Contusion cured. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. I did just jump off a big thing without a... Damn, this weapon fighting is actually really fun. I'm really... Oh, hey, bud. Put the knife down. Get out of here with that. Fire reading prior. No, I already got that stuff on me. I don't think it sells very good, so. Okay, there's one more. There's two more guys on my map. Let's try the pistol out. Where did this guy run to? Wait. Oh! What the? <laughs> we both just stood beside each other. So the reason I know where they are is if you look on my little like um, oxygen thing in the bottom left, you can see the little red mark at the very top of it. I'm just going towards that. I'm assuming that just shows you where enemies are. Okay, this guy's probably hiding behind rocks as well. Where are you? I'm thinking you die. Nah, I'm thinking you die, boss man. Wait, what's that? Technician, tech, technician's navigator pack. All right, that was cool. I don't think I can, so we're just at the front of it now. Damn, that was neat. I like that. That was a good little, uh, so didn't it say something about, press F, return to ship. How do you do that? Look out of the map icon and press it, E over it. Oh, that's nice, that's handy. I guess if you wanted to explore the planet a little bit more, you probably wouldn't do that, but. To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. New Atlantis, cool. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. Okay, so fast travel directly from the missions menu tab. Okay, mission menu. Toggle with the quest tracked on your HUD. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest, okay. So if I select it, Press R to automatically plot a course to that location. That's handy. So it just shows you, I guess if you're in the same area, because greater distances probably won't, you'll have to like jump between locations like it said in the beginning. All right, 
Alpha Centauri. Starship That's a pretty Frontier. place. This is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Uh, scanning in progress. No contraband. Oh shoot. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. So New Atlantis. So um, we'd go here to the map and we would land. There's a bunch of places on it on this planet, but we'll go to New Atlantis. Um. What was I about to say? I don't even remember. Oh, if, if I steal things, which goes with the piracy later, <laughs> later on, uh, it might be hard to smuggle it back into places. So I'm sure there's no post smuggling places. And, oh, this place looks fancy. I know that's just our base ship, but that looks nice. Uh, exit ship. I don't really have anything to do in the ship. There is a cargo, from what I understand, on the ship that we can store stuff, but I don't... What's my capacity at? Where do I see that? Okay. Mass, my capacity there is uh, is not that bad right now, so it should hey, be okay. Hey, bud. What? No bear? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? And I don't know what protocol, in, protocol like Indigo is. Your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offer a card. Oh, nice. Uh, ship needs repairs. Hmm. Don't care about repairs right now, to be honest, for a thousand credits. I think it said I only had four thousand. Uh, where did you say I could sell things? The Trade Authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoints. Okay. Uh, I guess we can just exit. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Whoa. This looks great. Such a futuristic city. This is dope. Wondering if this is the kiosk here. Uh, trade authority, beautiful. Do I have anything really to sell? Uh, weapons, cutter, no. I guess I have three Grendels on me, so I'll sell two. Sell two. I guess you get a half decent amount of credits back. Uh, yeah, I guess we can just sell our original space suit. I don't think I'm gonna be swapping. I mean, let me know in the comments if I'm gonna be, oh, we got some, oh shoot. Uh, that one seems the best. So I'm just gonna sell the other two. We'll equip that. Sell our original helmet. Let me know if I shouldn't be selling these for any reason. Like there's probably something you can upgrade. Maybe you can upgrade that I'm missing. It hasn't told me that. So I'm just selling what I think is, uh, hasn't been items that I'm gonna be wearing, but we got a new, uh, Another oh, boost pack. Your suit is protecting you from environmental damage. Nice. That's a cool boost pack. Don't know how to use it yet, but that is a cool boost pack. All right, let's continue. Uh, so what are we doing here? We were looking for somebody. Who was it? Go to the lodge in the Mast District. Well, yes. So obviously you guys can clearly see, and I'm sure if you're playing the game, like there's a lot of people you can interact with. I'm sure there's lots of shops and cool things. Had a notice to visitors arrivals. You I'm gonna I'm gonna explore a few things. Scan is inner city. Whatever it is, uh, it bad, right? I'll do some exploring on my own time. But for right now, talk to the scientist by the tree. There's a scientist by the tree. I don't see. Oh, activities. What the hell is that? Where's the tree? Over here. Yeah, this is beautiful. This looks fantastic. And, and what I was talking about earlier was the gameplay is running fantastic. Like, <clears throat> this is a pretty big city with a decent population. I don't know what some of the other cities and, and planets will look like, but I'm getting 114 frames right now on max graphics, 1440p. And I don't even have a, like, I have a 3080 Ti. It's, it's like, it's pretty crazy. It's it's very, very surprising how well this is, uh, this this is playing. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the We gotta go to Mass District, so I'm guessing the scientist is also there. The Mass District. Unless I didn't click on that activity. It's fine. There'll be a lot of subtasks and things that I'll have to prioritize based on entertainment value, but very, very good intro. I'm guessing we're still in the intro. I don't I couldn't couldn't tell you. This looks cool. Whoa. Is that an aquarium or is it just plant life? Kind of looks like it could be an aquarium. Oh my god, there's a sprint the button. Shift? Oh, I'm pleasing. dumb. 
or so Barrett has told me. Oh, that's so nice. relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. This is cool. So scientists by the tree is right here. Let's see what they have to, to say. Bad news for the Chief of diplomat Yassine runs a tight <laughs> ship at the office. There's so much going on. Why are you staring at a tree? Hi. Well, that can't be right. Can it? I'm sorry. I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Uh, you seem to be staring at a tree. I am not staring. I am analyzing. This is important xenobiological work. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Uh... Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Uh... Yeah, I ain't gonna do it for free. I said at the beginning, I'm I'm definitely in it for the money or or whatever parts. A mercenary, huh? Yep. Well, I'm sure we can work something out. So, are you on board? Uh, yes. Well, that's thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings if you would bring them to me you lazy save time I'm, I'm down i mean i'm definitely down if you're gonna if you're gonna give me money or something as a result but uh we'll definitely go back to the lodge because i think that's on this like in this area yeah it's right up here Looks pretty solid. I love that. Uh, again, I'm, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but the sound effects and the music and the atmosphere and the ever growing changes to the music based on where you are is phenomenal. Very, very well done. This looks really cool. Whoa. The Lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us. I love this guy. All right. Got our watch. says my on. name if Barrett were here he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now and he hopes you'll make this place your home I think what's interesting about him saying my name is there's other games where it's like pick a preset name from a list and web has been in there and they don't say it out loud and there's other games where they just don't even have web so the fact that I typed in Mr. Webb, and he's referring to me as Captain Webb, is blowing my mind, and it's the smallest thing. That is just an instant win in my books. It makes it feel so much more immersive. But anyway, let's let's not get too excited. Oh, it's that girl. Hi. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. She got weird eyes. To talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Uh, you don't start telling what Constellation is. I mean, Barrett didn't tell me that either, and I just want to know what the hell Constellation is. Mm. Very well. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration. Space primarily, but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. It's inherently dangerous work, so if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Speaking of which, where is Barrett? Um, doesn't matter. I have his artifact. Pirates attacked. Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. Why does it matter? I got your artifact. Excuse me? 
Oh. <laughs> I think you might have us confused with some cutthroat bounty hunters guild. I mean, I want to be a bounty hunter. Verify Barrett's location and status. Currently, assisting the miners on Vectera following a Crimson Fleet attack. Ugh. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Uh, I mean... <laughs> It seems so funny just to keep saying it's bright lights and music, but that's literally the only thing I personally know about it. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, <laughs> with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me oh, this now? Room's, this room's... lodge is cool. or not, wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, who do you expect us to believe in fairy tales? If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right, let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have. The artifact, if you could place it on the table here. Uh, sure. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god. Oh, what's They're happening? Reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves. Easy, girl. Breathe. This kind of forms like a sphere. sphere. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Country? You're on, Walter. <laughs> well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <clears throat> Money, please. So, Money, please. are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours. Um. Sure, why not? You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. Hell yeah. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. Money? In addition to credits, yes. why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Nice. Constellation pack added. Credits 8,000. Lodge key. Damn. So what is... Uh... Constellation boost pack. That seems astronomically better. I mean, it loses a bit of corrosive. I'm guessing that's corrosive protection. But I mean, it seems infinitely better. So we'll throw that on. We can sell the other two. That's nice. Um, cool, 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 cool. Did, wait, did it just say we leveled up too? Hell yes. All right, so can't really put any more points into that because we haven't completed the objective yet. Increases your maximum health. What else do we got? Social. Buy 5% less and sell for 10% more. That's nice. You can craft specialty food. I don't think that's based on other games from this this company. That's not going to be an issue. You're going to find it. Maybe, maybe later. That might be something we put in. 10% increased chance of success when persuading somebody. I'm not really going to be a persuasive character. The chance you'll find extra credits when searching containers. Unlock the ability to pick pocket targets. That'd be cool in a stealth playthrough. Ballistic weapons do 10% more. Melee, lasers, which we're already working on. Pistols do 10% more damage. Shotguns do 10%. So I'm guessing we got to like unlock a full rank four in order to get here. Like, yeah, like there's the rifle one. 
So maybe we'll work on trying to get laser kills. Science, medicine, unlock, increase grab jump range. That's nice because then you can like travel farther without stopping. Get more common and uncommon inorganic resources from surface objects. Resource requires... I mean, we're already working on medicine. Ooh, that's good though. Optional zoom to the hand scanner and is increased by 20%. You can attempt to hack. Unlock. You can now utilize ship thrusters. You can now utilize boost packs. Wait, do I not get to use the boost? Like, do we have to actually have this? I think you actually have to have this. Oh, well, I definitely want this. Out of everything I've read, we want to be able to use her thrusters in combat. It's going to be a big part of my playthrough. <laughs> All right, so boost jump 10 times when in combat. Easy peasy. Uh, what did the quests change to? Talk to Sarah. So we completed one small step. We have some activities. Oh, talk to Noelle about quarters. Well, she should be right here. That's her right there. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you too. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this <laughs> must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. No problem. You had a place for me to stay. You seem to know a lot about that. I was wondering about other types of experts beside artifacts. The vision I saw, what do you think it was? Uh, yeah, what other types of exploration? Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Interesting. Check the Constellation mission board. Cool. I wonder if every faction is going to have their own missions. That'd be cool, too. Uh, Sarah said something you had Planning a place for me to stay. Planning on sticking around then? Good. Sure. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Yeah, this is Walter's cool. This is very well done. Collection. But Mateo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there. If you need a moment or some quiet Emphasis on the quiet part. At least usual. Let's head upstairs. I've been asking a few questions. Yeah. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to do at the time. My walk is so much slower than hers. Like my, I guess it's like a sneak walk, maybe. I love that robot. He's my best friend. Yeah, it's like the the walk is slow, and the. Uh, the, the normal movement is a little too quick. All right, so we completed the intro mission. That was pretty cool. It's a nice little uh, nice little intro to combat, space flights, traveling, constellation, which is clearly the group organizing the artifacts. A little bar here. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself within reason, of course. What do you got now, on tap? Let's see about that room. Here Premium alone. pilsner, we were a logger, and a light. Nice. Already, but there's still one room up for grabs. Can I throw it's the darts? Nice having the place so full. Oh man, how do I... you probably can't inspect? No, you can't throw it. Damn, that would have been so cool if you could play darts. But I understand. I understand. Damn, how big is this lodge? This is like a hotel, man. What the heck? I am blown away with how well this game runs. Cause I actually had no idea if it'd be good or bad. Whoa. Oh. Okay, this'll be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet. And Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. <laughs> I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy. Thanks. All right, so we got a... Whoa. Whoa. I mean, talk about luxury. We got a sealed cocktail mixer. What we got here? Ooh. Oh. We got our own private storage. That's actually helpful. Find some valuables. Watch case. Damn, this is luxury, man. God dang. 
All right, not bad, not bad. We'll close the door behind us. Nobody else is coming in. Um, all right, so that was an easy little task. Uh, there's the mission board. There's the plants. Uh, we're getting close to the end of this play, like this episode. So I think we'll just progress the main one here. And we'll go talk to Sarah again. She probably has a new mission for us. She said she wanted to travel with us for a bit. Yeah, as much I, as I love, I'm biggest, not... biggest thing for me is the sound is incredible. The game looks a lot better than I thought it would, to be honest with you. Um, and it runs beautifully. Like I am getting 114 frames almost all the time, which is great for a 3080 Ti. <laughs> I know people say, oh, it should be more a AAA game, but I think that's more than enough. And it's, it's running so flawlessly. And the fact that you can do things like this so seamlessly is really, really Walter's impressive. Around. Something you Tell need? Me I assist you. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? I'm ready. I need to get time. What's the constellation? What do you do? I mean, I kind of get the idea of what the constellation is. I mean, there's a lot I don't know about them, but well, I'm pretty much ready to just doing some old -fashioned get out there. Work. Yes. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Uh... <laughs> Legwork never quite pays off the way You've you expect. You've done this before, <laughs> eh? <laughs> sure have. Wise words. We watch each other's backs. We'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact- Do you actually have companions in this? Dry. Sarah will be knocked as your follower companion. Damn! Yep, let's do we'll it. We need to head to Mast. Little, uh, Check in with the Vanguard artifact hunting. where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep, Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Understood, sounds reckless. What do you mean? You don't care if I steal as long as I don't get caught? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't huh. always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell huh, more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Understood. I like that. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Aye, aye. Let's do it. I fully... I, are satisfied with the quarters available I am. To you. Thanks, man. I was fully expecting uh, Constellation to be like the Goody Two Shoe faction, but it sounds like they're just like, as long as they get what they're looking for, they don't give a shit. And I actually like that a lot. I mean, it is space after all. Like, you got to take some risks and stuff. All right, so she has a contact somewhere here where that blue dot is. So I think if you run out of, I'm just gonna test this area. If you run out of, Sergeant Yumi's looking for reliable people to help the guard. You run out of O2. Does it start with CO2? Yes, it does. And I'm guessing you ran out of O2. Further exertion will cause CO2 buildup. Yep. Got it. And that is because we're in one of these. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to play it, but they, this is way better looking than previous third person versions of their game. I'm, I'm, I know I sound like a broken record, but I am very impressed with, uh, with this game so far. Sarah, hey, bud. good to see you. Uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with a Vanguard? Help the United Colonies earn some credits. Well, I like credits. Get your UC citizenship. Maybe later we have constant. I'd love to join the Vanguard. No thanks. I'd rather chart stars than fight wars. Oh, they're like a, a war. Yeah. Whoa. Where have I heard that line before? <laughs> no, I say the same thing every time John tries to get me to re-enlist. <laughs> I'd surrender. Can't blame me for trying, right? All right. Here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. 
Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Sounds like an artifact. That description Sarah gave me. Uh, I'll talk to him and make sure you get offer. Make sure we can make him a good offer. Scientists discover being used in ornament. That's, yeah. Uh, I don't want to make him an offer. I want it. Yeah, if he's on patrol, what? that's risky. Nah. Soul system is as quiet as a coffin. It'll be fine. That means it's not going to be fine. I'm sure you two can handle it. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like is Moira will be checking our out system? Sidonia on like... the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Uh, a bar in a spaceport. Yeah. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see is a good friend to have. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. Um, okay, so I ask about Boara. Yeah, isn't I'm pretty sure Saul is just ours. I'm wondering if they added a whole bunch of um wonder if they added like a whole bunch of like I don't want to say fake planets, but planets that scientists have given like names and they've just made them into their own version of them. That'd be cool. Where do we gotta go? The tram? Come on, Sarah, keep up. She's so far behind. I don't have a lot of ammunition. Uh that guy said there was another store. I wonder if I can quickly pop in and buy some ammo. Like this, this gun's amazing. It's just, it's an SMG. It's, it's almost like a P90, like a futuristic P90. I'm, I don't really want to um, risk running out of ammo on my very first mission. I'm sure we'll find lots, but then again, I mean, we are gonna go to some abandoned places and pick up some contracts and get into gunfights. So I just want to buy a little I've bit of ammo. Most of the systems in all manners of space I don't remember, yet, is that it right there? What's this place? Like it could be a store. What's it called? That is, yeah, Mercantile. Jameson Mercantile. You got any? <laughs> do you have any ammo? This looks like a clothing shop or like a department store, but hi. If it belongs on your ship, then I'm sure we have it for sale. Hi there. I actually like the Thanks voice acting too, in. but that's just Feel known for using the same like five people, and it's been very good so far. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. It's their eyes. Something about the way they do their eyes is where the emotionless comes from. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's oh, see please, what they got for sale. Um, uh, if I go to sell, like, I don't know. <sighs> is this selling or is this buying? No, this is buying. Is there a way for me to, like, check? Okay, here we go. Does it say ammo? Yeah, it does say ammo. What ammo do I want to buy? Uh, 3kv. I would like ammo for that gun. 7.7 millimeter. Those both share 7.7 millimeters. Oh, I can sell the extra Eon. Okay. Uh, and that's 6. So 6.5 millimeter, 7.7 millimeter, and 3kv. So I guess while I'm here, I might as well sell the two extra packs that I have. Um... Oh, sell from ship inventory. Oh, that's nice. I I didn't know. I Before we left the ship, I said there's probably a storage somewhere. It's nice to know that you don't have to drag it out of your ship. That's actually huge. Uh, and it doesn't appear like she has ammunition. So that's kind of expected, to be honest with you. I didn't think a department Thanks store. Thanks for coming in. Uh, is there another? Can I buy from that, that little kiosk? Viewport. That looks like a bar. All right, let's see if that little kiosk, because the guy said that he had supplies as well. But I don't know if he meant at his shop. I don't see, like, any other stores. I'm sure there is on a big-ass planet like this, but like I said, I mean, we're a minute, or a minute, an hour 40 into this. We probably got about 20 minutes left. Let's see if we can't uh, do one more main mission here before talk to the bartender at Viewpoint. Oh, well, ah, that's an activity. There's lots of things, like I mentioned, I'm gonna be doing some things um, off recording as well. And it's nothing you guys will hey, be like, oh, we'll do? miss, it's just gonna be side, side small cleanup things, mineral harvesting, things like that. It's, it's, nah, frick, they don't have anything. That's fine. I'm sure eventually we'll find a place that sells bullets. 
Yeah, like, it's kind of similar to, like, how Mass Effect, you had to, like, explore planets, scan them, find resources. Like, I'm sure there's going to be a point where we build a settlement and we do all sorts of crazy stuff with Time our ship that you're going to need moving. resources. I don't want to spend a two-hour video segment just harvesting. Like, if we find things along the way, great. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's... Uh, Let's kind of talk to Representative Chisholm. So lots of activities just from walking around and talking with, with various people. All right, let's head out to this place. Is there a way I can just get there from the map? Let's see. So it's in our soul, which we're not currently in our soul. We're in the Alpha Centauri. So soul. Uh, we can jump straight there. Perfect. Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's So it seems cargo. like every major settlement area, they're going to scan you for contraband. So that's scan something complete. I'll definitely have to keep Welcome in mind. Ours. Not that I plan on... Ours? Oh, shit. We just, we just leveled twice? Was I already level three? I must have been. I love the music. We're, re we're going to Mars? That's dope. Um, oh, we're already there. Let's see. Uh, how do I... Damn. I messed up. How do I... There we go. How do I turn it? Uh, if we scan it, what does Mars got on it? Lots of lead. <laughs> okay. Ton of lead, water. That makes sense. Sidonia. All right, let's go. Let's land there. Put a perk point in in a minute. I don't well, I don't really know what I want next. Maybe some combat. Maybe just some health. Um... I haven't really done, maybe I hold on to it until I block pick a bit more, because I would love to be able to block pick level two stuff fairly quickly. This looks sick. So much different than where we just were. All right, uh, exit ship. I like that you can just get out straight from here. You don't have to, you know, do too many things. Wow, look at, look at this. Oh, nice suit. You look different. Your nose looks weird in there. Anyway, <laughs> it's so dark on here. It's the dark rock, man. Oh, that music. It's phenomenal. I'm gonna guess this is a safe colony if we're going to a bar. Wow, this looks absolutely phenomenal. The lighting. Jeez Louise. Look at this place. They've colonized Mars. Maybe someday. Oops, I guess we gotta go in here. Maybe some days we'll, we'll get to see this. Not in my lifetime, I don't think. Another ship over there. Ah! What the? Oh, maybe they aren't hostile. Maybe I shouldn't have shot the other ones. So what's this going to run? Uh, we have not saved in a while in case things go sideways in here. Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. Seriously? This is really cool. I'm really enjoying myself right now. This is great. Welcome to Sidonia. Humanity stepping stone to the stars. Ah, oh, dude. This is so cool. Oh, we got a sign. 62, 62 hours without incident. That's good. Uh, what do we got? Broken spear. Trade authority. That's where we need to go. Uh, lower level one. So probably that way. Um, but the thing we're looking for is up here. Hey. Hey. This life ain't easy, but it pays the bills. Amen. Nice little bar. What's that called? Yes. Broken Spears? That's a cool symbol for for a bar. I like that. Hey, bud. <clears throat> Serving drinks here for over 40 years. Few places can offer that kind of stability. Ow, What's my drink. What would my poison be? Uh, a beer... A beer teeny? A bourbon? A bourbon in a freaking... Oh, my gosh. In a bag. Uh, honestly, let's go for a dark lager. 155? What the? Holy exp- I don't even know if that's expensive or not. We'll buy it. I'm not gonna drink it, but... Alright, I'm looking for a vanguard named Moara. Any local rumors? Speak with Trevor, whoever the hell Trevor is. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out blackest sea not about to leave a brave soldier behind help us find him space isn't kind he's in trouble you can track him down if you know his patrol route oh, believe me i've heard it 
After about round three or four was all he would talk about. He's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but if I'm out all that money, I feel like he's full of problems. shit. What do you say? What's this? Your companion can speak on your behalf. What they will say is written next to their name. Twenty-five hundred credits. You try and persuade him. He. Could need help. You shouldn't pay a price on that. Sarah Morgan, skip the part where you admit you're lying. Oh, he is lying. No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar <laughs> right Not now. Not before I kick your ass. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. <laughs> I like Lower her. the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. Fine. Thousand credits. Okay, that's not as bad. Does he have any work we I can do? I got over here in the bar where people post all kinds of spacefaring jobs. Good way to make quick money. All right. So we have an optional check out the mission board. Uh, I guess I just pay him. I mean, we can go do some jobs after. Read on a discount, right? Let me confirm the amount. Okay, let's <laughs> okay. talk. Okay. Last time I was here, where I kept yelling about the space the lady cowboy, love, singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus, that's Venus. only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got. Okay. <sighs> Fine, we'll make do. All right. So, seems like. Seems like this man we're looking for, this contact that has the artifacts. So this is a job board, so self-service bounty clearance. It's like if you have... Yep, you can pay for any bounties that might be on you. Mission board. Oh shit, okay. Uh, deliver cells to Titan. Deliver radiological amplifiers to Titan. Survey Proicon. See, these are things that I definitely feel like I could do uh, off recording, like deliver things, which is just going, flying your thing there, leaving it, uh, surveying planets. So I'm not going to pick up any of these now, although that is a really nice amount of credits that your boy is going to be getting. But I'm definitely going to look for that. I think I saw one there that was bounty hunting. What the frick was that? I think there must be a store down here somewhere. Grab some ammo before we go to Look Venus. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. Uh, oh, no trees, it's over here. No grass. Hands. It's depressing. Whoa. What the heck? He's got like cyberware in his head. The Lion Medical. Stay away from oh, here we go. Hey. Hello, welcome to the Hello. Sea Exchange. The best goods, all courtesy of the United <laughs> Colonies, straight to all of the wonderful uh. UC soldiers, workers, and other citizens. I've got a little of this, a little of that, and maybe a little of some other things you wouldn't <laughs> expect to find at the UC shop, hmm? I just but want ammo, my friend. because I try to provide for everyone here. So, please, browse my stock and let me know friend what I can get for you, friend oh, uh, yeah, let's just check out what he has <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, ammo was a big thing. Uh, it was three something KB, so I don't think, I don't think that's the right stuff. Oh, this, three KB. But I think the most important stuff would have been the 770 because that's what I feel like I'm going to use a lot. 4,000 for the lot of it. How much do I have? 13,000. Um, maybe we just buy like... 200 gonna be like super heavy whatever 200 for 1800 that didn't change my mass i guess bullets are weightless oh it literally says zero mass that's nice uh what was the other one 6.5 is what we needed so let's buy Ooh, those are a little bit more expensive i guess it's for the assault rifle i probably won't be using as much of these because it shoots a little bit slower i'll buy a hundred of those 
And these guys, clearly the most expensive for that laser gun, but uh, let's buy 40 of those. Because again, I, I'm sure I'll find some, but I just don't want to go on like my first mission on a planet that I have no idea what it's going to be like. Treats, vending machine. Okay, so this, this place is a good place to buy stuff, it looks like. There's a couple trading outposts. That'll be solid. All right, let's, uh, we got a few minutes left. Let's head out to Venus, and if it looks like it's gonna be like a planet or or something like that, then uh, we can leave that until the next time. But I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying this first part of the playthrough. I, I've, I've really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty cool so far. I guess you can like, can you just teleport back there? Fast travel. That's actually super handy. As long as you're out in the environment, you can fast travel to your ship. Um, cool. Let's, uh, Venus should be in the same Sol, in the same area. Yeah, it's right here. Let's go there. Um, science outpost. I'm assuming that's where we're going. So yeah, let's head on out. Here we go. Hi. See that cluster of ships? Varun yep. Zealots. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. Oh. I'll probably get wrecked is what she's trying to tell me. No idea. They appear and attack people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions. Diplomatic but the community. Are outside of their control. Or so they say. Yeah. No, no other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering this thing? distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Ooh. As much as I want to get into a fight, I, she's making it sound like these zealots are a little bit too hard. And I mean, I have exactly. no upgrades. I have no idea how this ship will do in, in combat, but you better believe later on, we are not stealthing in with ships. We're going to kill a bunch of people. Um, but for now, we'll, we'll listen to what she's saying because I'm guessing she's guiding us. Minimize ship system power to avoid detection systems like weapons and shields are easier to detect. For maximum stealth, power down all systems except one or two bars in your engines and stay as far away from the enemy ships as you can. Get within 500 meters. This I didn't even know this was like a thing. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. let's slow down. She, it said power down everything. Oh, it's going to suck if I get caught though. Everything, including shield, is powered down. Let's go a bit lower. This is cool, man. I guess we'll have... Uh, I'll have it set to, to grab shield immediately. We're pretty far away from this thing. Oh, great serpent. What the Bless this communion that we may walk in Janan Verun's footsteps. What? That he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence. That he learned the truth of the shrouding. The Fourteen. Oh, I would get race. screwed by them. No way I'm fighting the them. <laughs> cast the accursed into shadow. No way I'm fighting level 14, guys. There's no possible way. 360, 3,500 meters. I'm assuming I can go normal speed as long as my thrusters aren't above two bars. This is so cool. We're going, we've turned off all of our systems, all of our shields, anything that could be detected, which they said weapons and shield were the most detectable. Everything's turned off and we're stealthing up into this satellite beacon to try and find out where the ship went. And they are literally in this asteroid field directly above me. 
but they're not currently able to detect me. This is really sick. Again, not something I'm gonna do all the time as a space pirate. I'm definitely not just gonna stealth my way around things. I might stealth into a fight, but level 14, there is no shot I'd be able to do that. No shot. <laughs> That's so sick though. We're almost there. I love when the, the ship's quiet. You can hear everything humming. All right, we're getting close. Five hundred meters, it said, right? to earth interesting so everybody left earth i mean that makes sense earth's fucking doomed <laughs> uh set course travel to luna which is our moon get us out of here nice that's cool i like that you can just be like oh those guys are level 14 pirates let's not go towards them however i am going to turn up Everything that I had, including Nova Galactic Star Yard. Oh, we're in a cinematic Still orbiting Earth's moon. Cool. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their Star Yard hasn't been running in forever. Uh, I want to walk on the moon. Keep yep. your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. Most star stations and ships can be docked with, a, with, allowing you to board them. You will need to select the ship in your HUD and then fly close enough to dock that. Cool. Uh, so we're definitely gonna put some systems back in. We'll put some thrusters into missiles, ballistics, bunch in a. So I think uh, I think we'll dock here and we'll leave the actual mission part until our next video. This should wrap up nicely around two hours. I'm really, guys, I'm, I hope you guys have been enjoying this as much as I have. I, I'm pleasantly surprised. Again, if you went in expecting some new glorious, crazy game from Bethesda, I think you're going to be a little bit disappointed just based on expectations. But if you're expecting a Bethesda game with improved graphics in space, I think you'll be pleasantly happy. I'm really, really enjoying this so far. Uh, we've barely scratched the surface. It's just going to be a really fun play. I mean, look at this. We're Look at this station that's orbiting freaking the moon right now. This is great. I love it. <laughs> I'm such a such a space nerd. Oh, why should I be coming in from a? Oh, baby! I just how do I dock here? Uh, there we go. Not the most uh, flattering dock system I've ever done, but look at this. This is cool. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for part one of our brand new Starfield playthrough. I'm really really excited. We're gonna we're gonna board here and we'll set up trying to either save or find we're ready to depart oh god five seconds into this place and there's a dead body just sitting on a couch so this is gonna be a very interesting uh <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna save it here uh but i'm super looking like i'm very much looking forward to getting back onto this game and playing it. i think this is gonna be a really good playthrough again it's gonna be a long playthrough so we're gonna limit it to, to a couple hours per part um, and I'm going to do some of the side mission and just kind of more tedious tasks offline because I know it's going to be get tedious where you have to go to different uh, planets and grab resources. So I don't want to bore you guys with it. So I promise you, you're not going to miss any stories. You're not going to miss any main missions or even side missions for that matter. It'll just be contracts, delivering things, stuff like that. But once again, if you guys have followed, uh, if you've watched the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys are playing the game or planning on playing it. Let me know if there's anything I missed because the tutorial was a lot of information thrown at me fast so i might be missing some things we have a perk point to put in when we come back uh, but i'm super excited guys once again thank you so much for watching we're going to be posting these quite frequently uh so stay tuned and enjoy the rest of your day we'll catch you back here in part two thanks guys